visiting Hollywood Forever Cemetery in Hollywood, California, and I just want to bring you to a location of a notorious gangster. You might have seen the movie Bugsy. And here he is. This is his final rest his place, Benjamin Siegel. The infamous mobster. He got killed. Okay, so here we go. This is his last resting place, Benjamin Bugsy Siegel, the infamous gangster. By the way, he's from New York. Just so happened he came out here to Los Angeles. Uh, he's one of the pioneers, if not the pioneer, of Las Vegas. He created the first ever casino out there called the Flamingo, and he was murdered in 1947. But this is it. This is the crypt. And you can see here, there is a lot. A lot of, I believe they're tombs or crypts. I'm not sure, but look at the lipstick marks, though. So to this day, people still come here and, you know, visit his final resting place. And it's right here at Hollywood Forever Cemetery. It's my first time seeing it. I've been here before, but I never got to see his final resting place. But I'm glad I did. It's pretty historic and uh yeah old fashioned piano here i don't think it's been yeah it doesn't work anymore so well it's a beautiful day here in los angeles california i just so happen to pay a visit to the hollywood forever cemetery where a lot of stars are buried as you could just see behind me the sunny views the palm trees it's a beautiful finding resting place so come join me as we take this journey together wear your mask and there's the infamous hollywood sign i've hiked up there many times never seen it from this vantage point here at the hollywood forever cemetery so now if you're going to come to the hollywood forever cemetery there's a lot of stars buried here Probably they're all in their own right famous, right? Of course they are. Everyone's different. But one of the most famous ones was a guy that passed away before we were even born. And that's Rudolph Valentino. Rodolfo Valentino. He's buried here at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. This is his crypt. He died young. He actually died in New York City. Um, I'm not sure exactly what he died from. He was young though. It was a tragedy. This is in there. He's in there, you know. Take my hat off out of respect. But that's Rudolph Valentino, the great lover, as they call him. Um, you know, he was in silent pictures uh, back in the back in the day day. Uh, so there he is over there. And you know, rest in peace, Rudy. What a beautiful day here in Los Angeles. Uh, the beautiful final resting places of many many stars here at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. Hey, there's one of them right there, Mickey Rooney. Good old Mickey Rooney, died in 2014, almost 100 years old. And we continue to walk around here at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. You see they got a lake there. Look, they got some swans in there. I don't know if you can see that because of the glare. Whoa, look at this, my man Toto, what up? Toto from the Wizard of Oz, what up Toto? No place like home, oh look at that. Look at this beautiful, and then you got the Hollywood sign in the background. This is just absolutely incredible. Beautiful day. Just an absolute beautiful day here in Los Angeles. Hollywood sign in the background. It's very nice. And you got a, a swan there. Hey, swan! What are you doing? Okay. Back over there in the background over there is actually Paramount Studios. Yeah, it's right behind Hollywood forever. Here he is, Johnny Ramone from Queens, New York. Good old Johnny. What's up, Johnny? As we continue our tour of the Hollywood Forever Cemetery, you see these nice steps down here. We come across a little, well, I wouldn't call it a lake necessarily, but that is the final resting place at Douglas Fairbanks. Yep, Douglas Fairbanks. Back in the silent film era. One of the pioneers of Hollywood, I believe. And uh, it's just a nice location.